Hello and welcome to another Leak Code Solution video. This is problem number 25, reverse nodes in K groups. This problem we are given the head of a linked list and need to reverse the nodes of the list K at a time and return the modified list. K is a positive integer and is less than or equal to the length of the linked list. If the number of nodes is not a multiple of K, then left out nodes in the end should remain as is. You may not alter the values of the linked list nodes, only nodes themselves may be changed. For example one, we're given an input linked list of one, two, three, four, five, and K equals two. That means every two nodes we need to swap. And since this is an odd number of nodes, our last node we are not modifying. So our output linked list would be two, one, four, three, five. For example two, we're given a linked list of one, two, three, four, five with K equal to three. And our output linked list would be three, two, one, four, five. And our last two nodes are not modified as they are less than K. Let's go through an example. For this example, our input linked list will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with K equal to three. I've drawn out this linked list to make it a bit easier to visualize. So what we're gonna wanna do is go through our linked list and for each K set of nodes, reverse them. The main thing we wanna do when doing this is make sure we don't lose our remaining linked list when we're reversing a K group. So the first thing we can do, starting from our head of our linked list, is find our first K sized group. So for this, this will be one, two, three. And as we're reversing these three nodes, we wanna make sure we're not losing the rest of our linked list. So we have to be very careful when swapping our nodes. So to do this, we'll, we'll be looping K times, swapping one node at a time. We'll have a next node, current node, and a previous node used to keep track of the nodes we're reversing, as well as ensuring we don't lose the rest of our linked list. So the first thing we wanna do is break off our first node from our linked list. Then we wanna break off our next linked list node and point it to our first linked list node. Then we want to do that one more time. And now that we've done that K times, we know that our K number of nodes have been reversed. So then we want to set our one node dot next equal to the rest of our linked list, inserting our new reverse K number of nodes back into our linked list. And then we keep doing that for the rest of our linked list, as long as we still have K number of nodes remaining in our linked list. So we reverse our next three nodes. And since we only have one node remaining, we're done there. So our output for this example would be three, two, one, six, five, four, seven. Let's jump into the code. So for this problem, we're gonna to wanna to define two helper functions. Our first one, we will use to reverse a K group of nodes. And our second, we'll be using to get the length of our total linked list. So for reverse linked list, we'll wanna pass it our head as well as our K value. And for get length, we'll just want to pass it our node. And when we use this later on in our code, we'll be passing it our head. So it'll get us the length of our total linked list. The first thing we want to do in our reverse linked list function is define our previous and our current values. Our previous will start off by equaling none, and our current value will be equal to our head to start off. Now we want to loop k times. So in this looping, we'll want to carefully reverse our k group of nodes. The first thing we want to do is create a next node variable, which will be equal to our current.next. Then we want to set our current.next equal to our previous value. And then we'll set our previous equal to our current. Then we'll set our current equal to our next node. And then we'll decrement our k value. So pretty much what this is doing is we're temporarily storing our current.next value then we're setting our current.next equal to our previous node, reversing those nodes pretty much, setting our previous equal to our current, and that's for our next loop. And then we're setting our current equal to our next node, setting us up for the next loop as well. And doing it this way, make sure we don't lose all of the nodes that are after our K group. And when we're done looping, we can just return our previous variable. Now let's go through and define our get length function. And this we're gonna start off by creating a length variable, setting it equal to zero. And now we wanna just loop through our linked list. As long as a node exists, we wanna add one to our length and move on to the next node. Then once we've looped through all of the nodes, we just wanna return our length value. Now we wanna go through the rest of our solution. And the first thing we'll do is get the length of our full linked list. Now we'll create our new output linked list. And we'll set the next value of this node equal to the head of our input linked list. And we'll need a variable to keep track of the last node that we use in the previous group to reverse. And we'll set this to start as our head. 
And now we'll want to loop through our linked list as long as we still have k or more nodes remaining. In the loop, we'll want to find our start and end points of our group that we're going to reverse. And our starting point will be our previous group end.next. So we'll set it equal to our group start for now. And then we want to loop k number of nodes through our linked list to get our group end. And in this loop, we'll just set our group end equal to our group end.next to move it node to node. And now we will want to create a new variable for our next group start. And we'll set that equal to our current group end.next so that we know where to pick up from once we reverse this k group. There's a lot of moving parts in this problem that you gotta keep track of in your head. And now before we call our reverse link list function, we wanna set our group n.next equal to none so that we've isolated this k group of nodes. So now we'll call our reverse link list function with our group start and k. And we will be returning a node from this function so we can set our previous group end.next equal to this node. Then we'll want to shift over a couple of variables so that we're ready for our next group, starting off by setting our group start.next equal to our next group start. And we'll set our previous group end to our group start. And finally, we'll decrease our length by k. And this is so we can tell if the remaining length of our linked list is greater than or equal to k. Now we're done looping, so we can return our new output linked list. And we can do that by returning our dummy.next. This code has also been pretty long, so it's hard to keep all on the screen at one point. So this is a good reminder that I do link to my GitHub that has all of this code in the description of the video. So make sure to check that out if you missed anything. But that's it for the code, so let's run this. I had a couple of small syntax errors. First one, I put group start in camel case, and it should have an underscore instead. And for up here, dummy.head equals head, it should be dummy.next equals head and previous group n should equal dummy. When I had previous group n equals the head, we were missing that first node, and that's why I was getting the wrong output. But everything should work now, so let's run it again. All test case passed, so let's submit. Our code was accepted, so that's it for this problem. If you like this video and want to see more content like it, make sure to check out my channel. Thanks for watching.